in beautiful, sunny Southern California at San Diego State University. We're with Jeremy Poinsano. Hi, Jeremy. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic. And uh, well, one, because I'm in San Diego. Two, uh, I'm with you. Uh, an absolutely amazing story of, a, of an athlete, uh, a golfer. We talk to a lot of athletes, student athletes in college, a lot of professional athletes, but your story is truly amazing. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to give away the secret here as to uh, what kind of a championship golfer you really are. So let's talk about the last time you played golf. Uh, when was it? Where was it? Was it a tournament? Uh, yeah, it was a tournament round. I played uh, last week in Columbus, Georgia, and it was the national championships. The national championships the national in champion. Columbus, Georgia. Yes. And uh, what is the specialty uh, with this golf tournament? So it was the national championships of blind golf, and uh, I've been legally blind for the past two and a half years, and I actually won the national championships in Columbus, Georgia a week ago. That is truly amazing. I, I got to believe that most people don't even uh, know that blind golf exists. I yeah. mean, those are two words that nobody really puts together. Yeah. You've got to have pretty good vision to be able to play golf with that little ball and that little stick and yeah. 400 yards of a fairway. How do you pull that off? There are differences in sight categories. There are three different sight categories. There's B1s who are totally blind. Or B2s, that's my division, which is 2600 or worse vision, but not totally blind. And then B3 is 2200 to 2600. So I won the B2 site category for the national championships. And the best thing about blind golf is it's a team sport. It's not individual. So my dad is actually my coach most of the time in competitive rounds. And uh, he lines me up. He, he does all the work. I execute the shots. And the fun thing we say is if, if I had a bad shot, it's all his fault. If I had a great shot, it's all, my, it's all me. So you've got a smooth swing, and he lines your shoulders up. He tells you where to point and yeah, shoot, and you, me, you go for it. Yeah, he'll tell me it's a par four, tell me the distance. I want to know the distance to know what club to hit off the tee. And then from there, he'll uh, he'll point down the line of the middle of the fairway. And then he'll, what he'll do is he'll stand behind me, line up the uh, – make sure the club face is square, and make sure my feet are lined up where he wants. And then he says, you're good to go, and I hit the shot. And then when you're on the green – uh, your your vision is is very it's blurred if not completely gone in the center of your of yeah. your line of sight. You've got some peripheral vision. You were yeah. telling me. So when you're putting, you can't see the cup at all. Yeah, yeah, it depends how close it is. I mean, if it's a close putt, I can see the cup, but I have no central vision. I lost my central vision due to a rare hereditary disease. I had no idea I had. It's called Labor's Hereditary Optic Neuropathy (L H O N). Um, so I have no central vision. All this is completely blurred out, but I have complete peripheral. So to somewhat see the camera, I have to look up here. Um, but when it comes to putting, I, I walk the paces from my ball to the cup, and I'll say, okay, I'll walk, okay, it's five paces, and I can feel, okay, it's an uphill putt, and my dad and I will talk it over, and like the team sport, it's, okay, dad, I feel uphill, is it going to break left? He says, yeah, it's going to break left, how far? Okay, and then we work that out, and then I'll, I'll play what I think is a five-pace putt, and hopefully we hear it go in. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun stuff. And what do you, can I ask you what you shoot? Yeah, uh, in Georgia, I shot an 87 and a 90 in a two-day tournament. Um, I've shot, the, my lowest so far is a 77, been a non-competitive round. And when you uh, were younger and you had your sight, you, how old were you when you, when you were diagnosed legally blind? Uh, 19 years old, and right. I'm 21 now. And you're 20, so did you play golf before? Yeah, I've played golf my whole life. Uh, I've played competitively. I played uh, three years varsity in high school. Uh, I got down to a four handicap at one time, and then now uh, I lost my sight, and I'm considered a 16 handicap. And let's talk real quick about how to get in touch with you. Do you have a website, Twitter? I know you're doing some motivational speaking. How much more motivation do you need than to hear from a blind golfer? That's amazing, an amazing story. So how can we get in touch with you uh, yeah. to learn more about what you're doing and your mission? Yeah, so my name is Jeremy Pointsno, and then I have a website, jeremypointsno.com. And then you can follow me at Twitter, at Jeremy Pointsno, and Jeremy, J-E-R-E-M-Y, Pointsno, P-O-I-N-C-E-N-O-T. You can follow me there. And then motivational speaking, uh, I think life is all about attitude and you know whatever situation you're given in life everyone's got bumps in the road I lost my sight everyone's got difficult situations I know I've heard you had someone too but it's the attitude and what you do to persevere and that's what determines you as a person and that's the message I like to spread to everybody and it's a lot of fun